Why, guys, supermarkets are asking their customers to donate to food parcels, parcels Sorry, risk riling under pressure shoppers. New World's been asking their customers to buy food bank friendly products or buy a pre filled $20 bag to be donated to the city mission or local food bank through its food bank drive, family to family. And, you know, on the outset, that's who doesn't love charity? Who doesn't don't? Who doesn't love donating? Um, New World said it would also give its own uh, donation of a quarter of a million. But while we all want to give, when we can, some customers aren't too happy about the campaign. Uh, Bodo Lang is pre- professor of marketing analytics at uh, Massey University, and he's joining me again on the show. G'day, Bodo. G'day, Lee. How are you? I am good. Look, thank you for your patience. I know uh, you're hanging in there. Look, just quickly then, on face value, asking for donations, I mean, shouldn't really upset people, should it? But but what's really the um, problem here that's been expressed by by some customers? Look, I think asking for donations is absolutely no problem. It's a really good spread practice, in fact, um, by many smaller organisations, and that's probably part of one of the problems. So, you know, people don't mind donating to Daffodil Day, Enzac Day, um, or, you know, donating used toys or clothes. Mm. But, of course, and to very large organisations that have revenues in the tens of billions of dollars yeah. ask for donations that just changes um, the dynamics a little bit. So that's, I think, the first issue that some consumers will likely take issue with. Mm. The second one, I think, is the, you know, the Commerce Commission alleges that the supermarkets have exceedingly high profitability. And back uh, in, when the Commerce Commission reported on this, they said it was around $430 million of excess profits, so additional profits on top of profits that would be normal. Um, so again, some consumers will say, "Look, you know that just sounds outrageous to um, to make that much profit, and then um, to ask consumers to donate to food parcels." Yeah, and I think another another issue to me, I think, could be potentially asking for this essentially at the point of sale. You know, so you and I were standing at the checkout, and we see maybe an appeal, and it's a completely logical place to ask for this because that's where the customers are. Yeah. But if you tra- just transfer this into a different context, I think you'll see that this just seems a bit weird. It's a little bit like somebody being at Lululemon and having just bought an expensive item. <laughs> and then Lululemon saying, look, why don't you buy another item? And then they put that in the, into the donation bin. Nobody would oh, do that. Oh, yes. But, you know, yeah. So if you just trans- transpose that into a different context, I think you can see why people get a little bit upset with you know, this practice of asking for food donations. Do you think it would have been better maybe, Bodo, if the supermarket had offered discounts on, say, certain products and then and then if the customer bought that product, the difference got donated? So the customer still gets a deal, but then people that need help also get support. Would, would that work? I think anything, well, not anything, but I think anything that will help, you know, to tap into people's self-interest because that's the key driver of behaviour, yeah. And that will help. And I think if there was something where they said, look, we're going to match whatever you donate to the value of X, I think that would be really powerful. There's a lot of different ways in which this could have been done. And I, I know that the supermarkets are doing some good things, as you said in the introduction. Yeah. But, you know, some consumers will, will of course, say, look, you know, if you're making $430 million of excess profits yeah. on top of the normal profits and you're donating you only... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You know, and so it's a it's a natural reaction. So I think um, there could have been better ways of of doing this. Actually, but do you think customers like supermarkets to be? I'll call it socially aware. I've I've noticed over the years, you know, all the supermarkets have jumped on to all sorts of eco stuff, and we're the first to do this, and we're we're offering you that because we're saving the kiwi or whatever it is. Are they kind of straying off the path? Should they stick to their knitting of selling us, um, you know, groceries? Uh, 